Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. Today we're going to be talking about provisioning the DHCP server within the utility server on the CM templates. This video will look at the Communication Manager Utility Server IPv4 DHCP server options. We will provision the DHCP server. After completion of the provisioning of the DHCP server, We'll restart the DHCP daemon process and service will now be activated. We will start by examining the options located under the DHCP manager listed on the utility server option menu in the menu pane on the left. The DHCP server status link shows the current status of the DHCP server. In this case, the server is stopped as has not been provisioned yet. The activate slash deactivate DHCP link allows for the server to be enabled or disabled. Note that you can see that it is still stopped at this point in time. There is an option to overwrite the current DHCPD comp file by the last entry and that would reload the currently provisioned or previously provisioned working DHCP comp file. This should only be used after a serious misconfiguration error. The next choice, the DHCP IP address pool, I'm going to skip for a moment as that is the link we'll be using to provision the DHCP server in a few moments. The show DHCP leases link is a read-only status screen that provides details about various statistics on the working DHCP server. As you can see here, nothing is shown as the server is still unprovisioned. The last link, the DHCP server log, will provide a detail of all the activities such as DHCP discovers, DHCP requests, DHCP offers, of IP addresses given to the various devices. The log can be viewed locally or downloaded for external examination. Let's move on to provisioning the DHCP server. I have now selected the DHCP address pools link. This takes you to a submenu. From the submenu you can perform several things. Upon installation of the template that contains the utility server, some basic configuration is performed by the installation process based on the known network parameters input. That is what you see highlighted in this screen. To quickly highlight a few things, the buttons allow you to view an existing subnet, remove it, or edit it by selecting its appropriate radio button. There is an add subnet button to provision a completely new subnet if needed. I have now selected the radio button of the pre-configured subnet and clicked the edit button. The first two fields to be filled out define the range of IP addresses that will be allocated to DHCP clients. The default lease time will use 14400 seconds and the maximum lease time will use 28800 seconds. The next two fields are for the Windows Internet Naming Service, WINS. This server and the WINS server type are defined in these fields. We will not define these values. The DNS servers are entered in the original template install and they are pre-populated for us. We have entered our DNS domain name, followed by the NTP server on the corporate network. The next three fields are pre-configured site-specific option numbers for various Avaya IP telephone types. These values generally will not have to be touched if the utility server will be providing the IP phone firmware and the 46XX setting scripts. If other servers will be used to perform this function, the TLS SRVR and the HTTP SRVR values would have to be edited as needed to provision the IP addresses of those other servers. I have pushed the button called Commit Changes and Restart DHCPD. If this is the initial install of the DHCP server, the server would have to be activated 
using the activate slash deactivate DHCP link as well. After the DHCPD has restarted, the DHCP server can now assign addresses to devices that request them. I now am hitting the activate DHCP server button and starting the service. We are now provisioning IP telephones and other devices that use DHCP. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.